Moms to be, this video is for you. In a world that is full of intimidating diagnoses, politically driven agendas, judgy social media groups, trigger warnings left and right, and the target checkout lady saying, sleep all you can. It's so hard to know where to turn for advice when you enter your pregnancy journey. Add to it a friend who hands you a copy of what to expect when you're expecting, and it's easy to be overwhelmed or even scared through what should be a time of joy, discovery, and hopeful planning. This video is twofold. For you during this journey, number one, to empower you to trust your gut and instincts during this journey and feel strong in doing so. And to two, know who and what is available to help you be at your best through it and when the baby arrives. This is for anyone who's going through pregnancy, especially first time moms or ones who may not have had the pregnancy journey that they expected or attempted to have in the past. It may have been filled with stress, discomfort, a different delivery than they wanted. Um, and this is to show them the other side of their struggle and what is possible. So let me tell you a little story about my friend, Jenna. Jenna started getting adjusted prior to her first pregnancy. She was here for a couple weeks and then found out that she was pregnant. It was awesome. She started getting adjusted frequently throughout her pregnancy. And she also noticed that compared to other moms that were pregnant, she didn't have the same fatigue, nausea level um, as others. She felt pretty good during the initial part of her pregnancy, felt good through the middle. And then she didn't notice as much of the discomfort or physical pain that you tend to feel during your third trimester. She went through her labor, had a great home birth, nothing was a complication, there were no issues, had her beautiful baby boy, brought him in a few days later, and he's been getting adjusted for the last year of his life as well. Mom and baby are both well adjusted, and happy to report mom is having another baby. So she's coming through her second pregnancy, and she is loving getting adjusted and feeling more empowered during that time. So let's talk about empowerment. Learning to trust your gut and instincts during this journey and feel strong in doing so. What if we started looking at pre the pregnancy journey and the motherhood transition a little differently than our society does? Today's world is muddled with materials, opinions, and options when it comes to pregnancy, so who do we choose to be in our circle is most important. Have you ever heard the saying, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with? Who you choose to be around and listen to are the people who have the most influence in your life. And at a time where you are the most vulnerable, keep your birth team and your circle tight. My favorite story is this one I heard from another first time mom. Did you know that when an elephant is giving birth, other female elephants will surround her? It's fascinating, 40 tons of elephants in the wild, kicking up dirt, making loud noises, and warning other predators and attackers that they will not get to their sister while she is the most vulnerable. It's beautiful. What's even more special is when the baby elephant is born, the sister elephants will cover them with dirt and sound their trumpets obnoxiously loud, encouraging and cheering their sister on as they share with the entire animal kingdom what just occurred. Now this, this is what we should be like when we are going through this perinatal season of life. Whether it's a season of fertility, pregnancy, or postpartum, never stop encouraging one another. Let's go through a second point. Know who and what is available to help you be at your best through this journey for you and your baby. Babies are hitchhikers on your nervous system and not in a bad way, but whatever you're feeling, they are too. So which is why it's so important to be their number one protector. This happens best when the nervous system is adaptable to the stressors around you so that you, that you might not be able to necessarily control. We should be able to sprint across the street be stressed about a work project, and yet still sit down to have a relaxing, digestible dinner and then sleep well through the night. That's how adaptable and resilient you are. But the truth is your body may not be feeling or functioning like this. That's where we can help you be your best at the beginning, middle, or end of your pregnancy journey. Truth is, while pain, digestive, and sleep struggles are very common all through the trimesters, they don't have to be normal. 
We have cared for many moms to be, including Jenna, and working to balance the nervous system has been a game changer for them. Here's why. Your body is changing in a very complex but pre-ordered way. You are made to do this, but when stressors enter the equation, either physical, especially in your third trimester, or emotional, which is can be all trimesters, honestly, the nervous system has to switch into a different mode to handle the stress. This is called sympathetic mode. It's great to handle stress, but terrible about sleeping, digesting, and helping you calm and relax, and helping your baby calm and relax. This is where prenatal chiropractic comes in. Neurologically based chiropractic care is the best at balancing the nervous system and putting into the opposite of sympathetic, stress stuck on mode, and into the parasympathetic, that rest, relax, digest, grow, develop, everything mode. So key for everything you are expected to accomplish in this season, both actively in life on the ins- and on the inside with your baby. So my hope for you today is that you will step into this motherhood transition feeling empowered and confident and know how we can help and support you. We're here for you. We would love to chat more and find out exactly how we can help. Also, we would be greatly appreciate you sharing this message and our blogs with someone that you know that may be on this journey.